guys, it's Dave. Welcome back to Talking Wars for uh, a video today, slightly different video. We're going to be basically talking about the new Molyneux development, what's going on, what we know so far, uh, and just give you guys all the info and my thoughts on it as well. It's Dave. Uh, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Guys, the support has been fantastic over the last few weeks or so. Uh, so much so, we're currently doing a giveaway over on our Twitter page for a wall shirt of your choice whether it be the home the away the goalkeeper shirts make sure you go and enter that if you're on twitter apologies if not we'll make sure we do a youtube uh facebook and instagram giveaway soon um news on the instagram as well we're now at talking walls on instagram before we were at talking walls official but uh moving on from that yeah so walls um the new stadium or the new stadium redevelopment rather of course this time last year we were unsure whether Fosun were going to be looking to build a new ground altogether or redevelop the current ground walls are on although it was very restricted with the council and so on but it looks like walls are going to be staying at Molyneux uh, we saw some news last week or the week before basically saying that they're looking to stay there now on a permanent basis um, as far as we know and they're looking to redevelop, obviously, the stands sooner rather than later. The original plans were that they were going to be doing the Sir Jack Hayward stand, the South Bank, first. But in the recent Fans Parliament meeting, now, if you don't know what Fans Parliament is, uh, it's basically a group of fans, a committee of fans that meet up on a fairly regular basis and just talk about all the issues and things that can be improved at Walls. The great thing is, Laurie Darimpol, um, obviously one of the big boys in the board at Walls, was there. He normally is there. Um, but he was in the most recent meeting and a lot of it, other than tickets, which we don't want to talk about the away ticket structure, um, a lot of it was about the plans for the new stadium. So rather than the South Bank de being developed first, it looks like they're going to be doing the Steve Ball stand. Uh, that's the stand opposite the tunnel uh, where the away fans normally sit. Obviously, normally you've got the away fans at the bottom, the corporate boxes in the middle and home fans on the top. So they're looking at reconstructing that first. Um, I think that's not a bad shout. I believe it's one of, if not the oldest stand. Um, and for Wolves, financially, it's a very good piece of business. I say piece of business uh, like it's a signing, but it's a very good move because I think, one, it's going to start off this sort of really nice-looking stadium. Now, I'm not 100% sure if they're going to be filling that quadrant in, in between the North Bank and the Steve Ball, because I think that was the original plan to almost have it as an all-in-one stand, like a, a curved stand, which would be nice-looking. Um, two, I think currently um, in the uh, the corporate section of the stand, they could fit around 300 people in. Um, so it's not a major, major um, area for boxes and corporate business and so on. But now they're looking to increase that to 2,000. So that's what almost, you know, uh, do a quick maths here, you know, six or seven times the amount of what they've got there already. Um, and imagine the amount of income they're going to be getting. Say for argument's sake, I don't know how much a, a corporate box is per per match or per season. Say it's fifteen grand, twenty grand, and you, you're times in that by six or seven already. You know that's a massive amount of income. Although it's not, obviously not going to pay for your stand, but over a few seasons you pay for the stand there. I think with the away fans as well, away fans are going to find it more attractive to come to Molyneux because it's a better stand, better facilities. They're going to have a few more fans being able to fit in there as well, which is going to create better atmosphere throughout the ground. And I think fans always like having new facilities and new things to look at. We love the Molyneux, how it is. A great four-stand, really traditional feel of a stadium. Um, and that's why I'm not sure what they're going to be doing with that with that corner bit. But I think the new facilities really need to upgrade. And I think South Bank obviously is a, is a must as well for that. But in the Steve Ball, I think they're looking at adding about six, I think four to six thousand seats. So it's going to go in the first phase, which by the way they're looking to do at the end of next season. So around uh, sort of summer 2020, uh, they're going to be looking at increasing that up to about thirty six thousand capacity. And then in the next phase, they're going to add even more. So the next phase is going to be the South Bank. Now, I think the big thing is they're going to try and keep that as a single tier stand, which I think is crucial, almost like a cop, you know, a, a really big part of how, how you know, Wall's atmosphere is generated all comes from the South Bank. Um, so I think it's cr key. They're going to be keeping that as a single tier. I think the, the other thing with that is I think Wall's are going to be holding fire on the South Bank now because they want to know 
what is going to be happening regarding this safe standing situation. If you've not seen, Wolves have um, they're trialing this sort of safe standing thing. I'm not there is quite a technical name for it, but um, they're going to be trialing that and see how that goes. And I think if it is, it is successful, they're going to be filling out the South Bank with that, increasing that, increasing the facilities there. I think they can get up to ten thousand. I'm not sure if it's ten thousand fans in general or ten thousand more seats there. Um, which is obviously going to increase. I think overall, they're looking at getting the ground. Once that phase is finished, it's going to hold a capacity of about 46,000, which is obviously a, a massive, massive uh, increase of walls. But over a few seasons, they're going to be getting their money back. They're going to get more sponsors, more corporate. I think walls, obviously, the main issue at the moment is getting the land to do it. The council uh, over the last few years have been quite strict regarding that. Walls are going to need shareholders, people that are happy to invest in this as well. I think the the crucial thing for me here is that Wolves are getting a good amount of income back quickly because we don't uh, no no disrespect to Tottenham at all they spent all this money on on this new ground which looks fantastic by the way but look at their transfer business over the, the last few years they've been very fortunate with how good their squad is and how how great their manager is that you know they're, they're outsiders for the title still this season um I think it's crucial for Wolves, especially a team that's still in transition at the moment, that we don't put all this money into a stand or a new like new stands and facilities and ignoring the playing squad because I think that always can be improved over the next few years or so. So I think it's crucial for Wolves. I know that we're on about selling stakes in the club and so on. Um, it'll be interesting to see that how how hap well, what happens on that front as well. Um, and of course, with the increase of capacity. It's going to mean increase in obviously better facilities. I think the South Bank is a, is a much needs that bigger concourse. We need contactless payment as well. This cash business, like that, very rarely people carry cash around now. I know, so um, they need to just little things like that. And I think that can be improved quite quickly, to be honest. Anyway, um, but then you've got the traffic issues. If you're having like fifteen thousand more fans there, what are they going to do about that? And I think that's something that's going to be improved as well. But it's really, really exciting times for Wolves. Really exciting times. Uh, I'd love if you leave your comments in the comment section down below. But I thought uh, a different environment at work with all stock everywhere. I'd give my thoughts on this anyway. Um, but make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. Um, and you know we're we're onwards and upwards. And Manchester United in the cup as well. Wolves, interesting, interesting times. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, guys. Um, and I'm sure I'll see you all very, very soon.